Moses. Yeah, Moses. Quite the story. In the Bible, right after Genesis, from Exodus to Deuteronomy. Yep. Four books to Amazing. read. Amazing. All Amazing the, story. All the events and mm -hmm. story and life of Moses. Yep. Yep. And I have to wonder, if I was a mother, could I put my newborn baby into a basket and place him in the Nile River with the hope of someone finding him? Oh. I don't think I could do it. I mean... Moses, we learn, right? He was born into humble beginnings, into yep. a Hebrew family. Mm -hmm. And then the Bible tells us um, the, the reason that the mother did that was Pharaoh, oh, the leader of the country, ordered to kill all male babies. Terrible. To reduce the population, the yeah. Hebrew, the Israelite population. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, uh, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. And then he's found um, by Pharaoh's daughter mm -hmm. in the Nile River. Yeah. And uh, yeah. yeah, and he was raised as an Egyptian mm. by Pharaoh's daughter. Mm. And uh, but Moses, as he got as he grew up, he uh, he had a change of heart. Mm. Yeah. And uh, one day he saw a an Egyptian soldier abusing one of the um, Israelite people, mm. and he killed him. He killed the man. He killed him. Moses yeah. killed the Egyptian. Yeah. And then he had to flee. Moses had to flee the country, yeah, because Pharaoh heard about that incident, yes. and he was going to kill him. Yeah, so Moses had to flee. Yeah, terrible. Which he did. Yeah, yeah, and he ended up living uh, for forty years as a shepherd in the wilderness. Forty so, years. Forty years. Forty years. That's a long time. And then one yeah. day was different. Yep. Than all the other days. Yep. And uh, Moses. Sees a there's a flaming bush. I know a bush that doesn't burn up. That's incredible. Well, however that works. Yeah. And, but God speaks to him from that flaming from the burning bush. Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. And he tells to him to go back to Egypt mm -hmm. because he wants him to free his people, oh. the Israelites. Okay. So he goes back. Yeah. He talks to Pharaoh, <laughs> but Pharaoh refuses. He refuses to let the people go. Right. He he then God then performs miracles through Moses. Yeah. Yeah. And um then there's the plagues. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And it takes takes a lot of them. It goes to the death of the firstborn son of Isn't the Egyptian. That awful? Yeah. yeah. All yeah. Egyptian firstborn males die. Yeah. And I think also the firstborn animals. Yes. Male animals. Yes. And yeah, what's just, called... just terrible, just awful. And then, yeah, and then so yeah. Pharaoh at that point, yeah, you know, I guess that was like the breaking point for him, mm -hmm. and um, he frees the people. Yeah. So the Israelite people now Finally. leave. They leave Egypt. Yeah. And they're making the trek across the wilderness desert. Mm -hmm. But there's more. Oh. Uh -huh. Pharaoh changes his mind. Again. Yes. After letting them go. After letting them go. And he chases after them with a huge army. No. Oh. And he catches up with them. Can you believe that? He catches up with them. Mm. And at this point, they have nowhere to go. Yeah. They're stuck at the Red Sea. So and they've yeah. got Pharaoh's army on one side coming after them. Yeah. And then they've got the Red Sea in front of them. So will Pharaoh and his army kill the Israelite people? That's a really good question. Because they have nowhere to go. Or do they? Real events. Real people. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs>